What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to our FC Barcelona player review. We're going to be doing a complete breakdown on Ronaldinho, Belletti and Andres Iniesta. Now, lads, this Ronaldinho is absolutely insane. We're going to take a look at his stats here in a second. We're going to go over to eFootball DB and show you a few different ways that you can train him. And we are going to do a dedicated training guide on Ronaldinho and Iniesta as well. So if I don't cover everything in this one, uh, let me know any questions and I will cover it in the training guide. But yeah, I mean, these two look like they could be monsters for you. Belletti obviously is going to be a little less uh, important, I think, depending on your squad. Obviously, it's nice to have a right back, but his stats don't really stack up as well as Iniesta or Ronaldinho. They always have to kind of dangle that carrot of two really good players or one really good player and then obviously somebody else. So let's get cracking with it. All right, so we're going to start with Belletti. Obviously, he is probably the weakest of the three here. Now, he's still a fairly decent right back. I think the thing I like about him is the fact that he does have man marking, slide and tackle and pinpoint crossing as well as fighting spirit. Now, he does have early crosser as well. So that should kind of steer you in how you should train him up. He is a very offensive fullback with the acceleration there that you see as well. But he does have nice tackling. So um, I think he's an interesting choice. Obviously, when you have a pinpoint crossing and early crosser play style uh, right back or left back, uh, then you need to play him as kind of like swinging balls into the box. If you don't do that a lot, I think he is a bit of a waste. But then he does still give you the option of having um like a lot of speed and a lot of acceleration there so he's not a bad player this is the 94 rated version of him here that we have over on eFootball db um so it's four into passing eight into dribbling and dexterity and then eight into defending and then 12 into lower body that's going to give you a fairly average attacking and defending right back with 90 speed 90 acceleration 92 stamina and of course they are going to get the boost as well he does have unwavering form so if you do get the boost to the player form arrow you're going to have 90 plus speed on a lot of uh, stats there now i don't like the fact that with this build um you're only going to be getting 80 lofted pass which kind of disappoints uh because you do want to have a lot of speed on your right backs especially with the way the game is at the moment you know it's very kind of um you know you can catch any any winger if you are a defender now but for that yard or two of space if you're playing against a good opponent they will just pass you to death and your defenders won't be able to react as quick if they have got low acceleration and low stamina as the match goes on but he does have one touch pass which i like but he has no defensive cards so you will need to build him up a little bit which is a little bit of a boss for me in my opinion i mean if you are releasing these players obviously they have to have good signs there um and good things that will make them you know epic versions of the cards but i think that there's a lot of better right backs that you can buy and you probably already have some fairly decent ones there we will do a training guide on iniesta and ronaldinho but for now we are going to focus on andres uh one of my favorite players ever in pez games and now eFootball games i probably will spin for him lads i don't know will i uh will i or not he mightn't make my squad um but creative playmakers i love playing with him he's got one touch pass he's got true passing weighted passing pinpoint crossing outside curler double touch as well with soul control absolutely insane he also has some nice play styles and he's got unwavering form on b rating he could be you know such a i won't say a massive upgrade for me um because i've got an insane you know trio of attacking midfielders for this new long ball counter i'm playing but i definitely think he would be an absolute monster especially the dribbling you can train him up like to ridiculous levels now i want to show you something when we go for the football db we do have the 98 rated version of him i definitely don't recommend this version of him even though you've got 99 uh low pass and 96 lofted pass with you know insane 96 ball control and tight possession and 91 dribbling uh which is ridiculous but the balance and the acceleration the speed and the stamina are all fairly low so this is one player that i definitely think needs a big training guide um because a lot of people are, are still using auto allocate and they're going to miss out on the best version of iniesta but i will show you a passing one and i will show you kind of like a pass and move kind of one like a very good acceleration type one um when we do the training guide right i want to keep these videos fairly short and sweet and he is a beast man look any version of iniesta that you have you know what you're going to be getting with him you've got that dribbling you've got the tight control and he, and iniesta as well as he has got a lot of unique um kind of animation play style stuff that he does on the pitch like you know dribbles touches ronaldinho is the same which we'll get to in a second but i think it's the mixture of um you know attacking skills and he doesn't need really defensive skills if you're using him in that hole i would definitely be playing iniesta as an attacking midfielder like 100 be playing him as an attacking midfielder um or in, in a very advanced 
uh, attack and roll. Like he is kind of like Pedri. So if you know what you what you're used to with Pedri, um, this is what you're going to be getting. Obviously, as a creative playmaker, you know Pedri is is uh, slightly different with the versions of him that I would recommend. The whole player Pedri is just insane. But this version of Iniesta, I think, is just incredible. Like, if you take a look at his standard card, Iniesta's standard card, it does have 41 levels. But the big problem with standard card Iniesta's is his acceleration and is the fact that he's a classic number 10. And on top of that, even though he has 41 levels to go, he's not on good form. You know what I mean? He's not on good form. He only has... Um, he only has uh c form because he's not a legend version of him so that's just something to keep in mind as well um if you are thinking of getting this guy he is a massive upgrade uh you know compared to probably the other version or the standard version of iniesta some players you know the standard version of him are quite fine um but i do think that iniesta would be would be on my wish list to get so we'll see what we do in the stream later on and then last but not least we have a 99 rated version of ronaldinho in fairness lads a lot of people have been looking forward to Ronaldinho. I already have Ronaldinho, so the hype isn't as high with me. Um, but I do think that this card is going to tear it up online. I think this is going to be a new meta card 100%. Because the biggest problem that Ronaldinho has had in all previous versions of his cards is either he's had low levels, okay? Low levels, which isn't an issue with this card. It's 29 levels to train him. Or else he's had really low acceleration or speed. Um, now, well, I won't say really low but he's had his speed or acceleration around the 78, 80 mark, um, which does make a difference. Also, this one is a player, a creative playmaker. All versions of him are creative playmaker, apart from the AC Milan legend card that's in the database. Um, but this one is a monster, and he does have a couple of nice player skills. He's locked on B rating. He's got unwavering form. I mean, genuinely, like if you look at those stats, those stats alone are probably as good as what you would have in a, a lot of players in your squad. I mean, you've got 85 in acceleration, 80 balance. He's not the smallest player, so having high balance with this card is, is brilliant straight off the rip. The passing is fairly average for a left winger. It's fine. Um, He's also got ball control, dribbling, and high possession. Before you've even leveled him up one, like in the 85 range zone. So... Yeah, this card is going to be insane. I mean, if you go to eFootball DB, I will leave the link in the comments below or in the description. This is the big time 99 rated version of him. Is it the best version of him? I would probably say no. But if this, if you are looking to just get the auto allocate version of him, I mean, you've got 95 ball control and tight possession, 90 balance and 95 acceleration. The passing is at 79. But if you're using him as a winger, um, you know, you need to max out what Ronaldinho did back when he was, you know, rapid fast, um, I won't even say rapid fast, but it was just, he was so good at dribbling, so tight, you know, so tight control, such tight control, and just being able to explode past, I mean, Real Madrid fans will remember, you know, how good he was at that period, um, he was just insane, but yeah, I mean, you've got everything that you want there, even the finishing and the low pass are quite high for a car that's maxed out with dribbling and dexterity, so yeah, that is something to keep in mind, but we will do a training guide on Ronaldinho, because I do think, again, I would, pro I would probably play him, lads, with the positions that you have here i would probably play ronaldinho as an ss or else an amf um because you've got the finishing and you've got the passing that you can actually make him that version so we will make a hybrid amf ss version of him that's going to be shooting a lot with curl shots and then on top of that we will make a dedicated wing version which is going to be very similar to what you saw there a second ago but everything that you could want you have at ronaldinho except double touch that's the one thing i think they've put into this card um uh, or not put into this card i think it's i don't know maybe because they wanted to balance it out too much and he'll be too broken but i definitely think he should have had every player skill that he you know possibly could have had um but of course you can give additional skills to him as well which is quite nice but he does have one touch pass he does have no look pass he does have a very nice card so yeah let me know what you guys think if you're going to spin or skip for Ronaldinho we will have the training guides let me know which one you want first Ronaldinho or Iniesta and then we will move on to the other legends that are there Davids and Nedved um, and Del Piero so yeah we will do a review on that as well but that is it for me lads I will be back in a bit peace <laughs>